The Matrix is bursting at the seams with religious connotations. And while the allusions to Neo's role as a prophet for the digital age have been discussed for decades, if you are willing to go down the rabbit hole, we can see The Matrix in a whole new way by looking at it through a Marxist lens. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Let's delve into Marxism and The Matrix. To understand how The Matrix lines up with Marx's criticism, we have to first understand Marx's theory. Marxism is all about the relationship between different classes in society. Most importantly, it's about the relationship between the ruling class and the working class. The way society is structured, according to Karl Marx, shapes how the ruling and working classes interact. Their relationship changes depending on the way society's economy is structured. The arrangement of society's economy is known as the base in Marx's theories. The structure of the base for any society is important because it determines the shape of society's superstructure, the fundamental part of Marxist theory. The superstructure, in essence, is the ideology of a society, what it believes and how it understands things. How a society treats individuals, responds to events and recounts its history is all derived from the ideology of the superstructure, which is in turn created by the economic base. That ideology, as Marx sees it, always reflects the views of the dominant class. As well as this, that ideology is there to suppress rebellion against the dominant class. The superstructure puts this ideology in books, television, music, news, all kinds of media that is produced by the base. Capitalism's base from a Marxist lens is structured with workers as a commodity that are used by the upper class for their personal gains. Because of this, all media created by a capitalist society aims to subdue resistance to this power structure. 8-Bit Philosophy by Wisecrack has a great video explaining the nature of Marxism for more depth on the topic if you want to learn more. But what does all of this have to do with The Matrix? The Matrix's story is all about noticing and rebelling against society's superstructure. The journey that Neo takes with Morpheus pulls away the curtain of The Matrix to show the reality of the society they live in. That is, one ruled by machines that enslave humans and use them as a commodity. The Matrix is merely an embodiment of the society's superstructure. Its purpose is to stop humans from rebelling against their place in society by promoting an ideology to keep them at bay. From a Marxist perspective, The Matrix argues that living blindly in a capitalist society restricts people from reaching their true potential. It says that in order for people to live better, they need to understand the truth about the world that they live in and decide on their own how they feel about that world. I told you I can only show you the door. You have to walk through it. The entire plot of The Matrix is based around the base and superstructure of capitalist society by hyperbolizing how Marx sees the capitalist class struggle. The struggle between classes in real life, according to Marx, is between the workers and the elite owners of production. In The Matrix, the Wachowskis represent this complex interaction by turning humans into this. Humans are slaves to the machines in order to keep the machines functional. This is the base of society in The Matrix. The machines are an allegory for the upper class, and all of humanity has been reduced to a commodity for them to utilize. The superstructure in the film, the media and art that project the ideology of the dominant class, is the matrix itself. Compare how Marxism sees the working class in a capitalist society to the role that humans play in the matrix, and you'll see some very distinct similarities. The matrix acts as a way to keep humans supportive of their place as batteries for the machines, and stops them from rebelling. The superstructure in comparison promotes the ideology of the upper class through the media in order to keep the different classes of society in their place. Its purpose, like The Matrix's, is to subdue the working class. The film does this in multiple different ways, mostly through metaphor and symbolism. Take for example the scene where Neo loses his mouth and ability to speak. His actions to rebel against Agent Smith and by extension society are subdued by The Matrix by literally removing his ability to speak out. While it is quite literal, it reflects the ties between the Matrix and its purpose in society as the tool to subdue resistance in society. Morpheus links the two concepts together quite nicely when he explains the Matrix to Neo. The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. Even now, in this very room. You can see it when you look out your window, or when you turn on your television. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage. 
born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. The Wachowskis set up their allusions to capitalism and Marxist theory nicely through the Matrix, but what are they trying to argue with it? The Wachowskis argue that the Matrix and the superstructure of capitalist society prevent people from reaching their true potential. They use the film to project their views on how people can benefit from knowledge of society's superstructure, but stress that choice is vital to escape the system. Their argument is concentrated in one particular sequence in the film, the sequence where Morpheus trains Neo in the Matrix. At first, Neo cannot succeed because he is too restricted by the rules of the Matrix. Morpheus insists that Neo is able to do what seems impossible and he's only restricted by his mind. When he is fighting Neo, he asks Neo, do you believe that my being stronger or faster has anything to do with my muscles in this place? When Neo disregards the rules of the Matrix, his true potential becomes revealed and he becomes more powerful. He has reached his actual potential. Other scenes like the mirror scene reflect the same idea. For example, when Neo escapes the grips of the Matrix, the mirror healing itself shows that he has been exposed to the real world and he's now able to access his full self. The more Neo escapes the grips of the Matrix, the more powerful he becomes. With this progression, the Wachowskis show that being controlled by the superstructure of society limits an individual's capability in life. However, in the Matrix, they also advocate for knowledge and choice of the individual. The iconic plot device of the red pill and the blue pill highlights their argument that while people have more capability knowing how the superstructure of society works, it needs to be the choice of the individual to go down the rabbit hole. They argue that nobody can be forced to leave the system, but if they do, they can become more powerful than ever before. Marxism isn't the only way to interpret the Matrix and its views on society. However, it is interesting to look at the Matrix through this lens, and see how closely it lines up with the ideology that Karl Marx put forward in his writings. Discussing the complex ideas of ideology, economic structures, and societal class struggles in an entertaining sci-fi is an accomplishment in itself. Combining it with martial arts is a completely different achievement. <laughs>